I never thought your father was the type to have an affair. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own two eyes. I know exactly the type of stupid things you've been doing. Why is Uncle Anna kissing Granny? What the hell is this? I love her. You love my mother. I want to be with you. Goodbye, Daddy. I'll make strength to return her stamp only when she's given flowers. What kind of lunatic would give an orangutan flowers? <laughs> it was singly stamp that went missing. Honey, it's all you, not Yusuf. There's no spy. You came to 1965 from the future to wreak havoc. But my nephew Manu, huh? doesn't want to take over my business. No way. Your Manu's uncle, he's not from 1965. Manu was actually born in 1985. What? Mama, I bought you dinner. Your friend is here. My friend? Hello, Manu. What are you doing here? No, I don't understand. Your friend keeps saying you're from 1965. <laughs> He's a joker. La. Interesting. He doesn't know, does he? What is that? I don't know. Uh, nothing, Mama. Why don't you go have dinner first? I'll take over from here. You are not cutting my hair. I know what I'm doing. I'd rather be cutting hair than running the FPD. What? Who are they? Wait, what were you doing back in 1965? Yusuf believed there was a spy in the FPD. Was it you? Why should I be answering all your questions? What are you hiding? Nothing. That is a photo of my girlfriend Rani and my parents. It was because of them that I joined the FPD in the first place. I don't understand. January 13, 2008. It was supposed to be the happiest day of my life. It turned out to be the saddest day of my life. I was going to propose to Rani at the zoo. I had gone first to get everything ready. My parents and Rani were coming later. But... What happened? While they were waiting for a bus to bring them to the zoo, there was an accident. A car lost control and drove into the bus stop. I received the news that they were all dead. I couldn't bear to hold on to the flowers anymore, so I gave them to Aming. I turned to leave. Something fell on the floor. It came from Amin. Amin! She was one of the pioneers of the FPD. Muhammad Ali bin Khairuddin, Lo Chai Boon, and uh, Amin. A pioneers of FPD. You have Amin's stamp. The stamp was set to 1960. I didn't know what was happening when I stamped it. I was terrified when I ended up in 1960, in the FPD office. I saw Chai Boon waiting for Aming to come back. I stood nearby and overheard them talking about the FPD. Being in the present reminded me too much of Rani and my parents. So, I spent more time in the 1960s. I joined the FPD. I was happier. Why didn't you just stay there? I can't leave my uncle alone. So every day I would travel to work in the 1960s, then come home to the future. Wow, you're actually pretty good. I know. In a different life, I'd have been Singapore's number one barber. Hang on. Dude, why don't you just go to 2008? Couldn't you save Rani? Wouldn't that fix everything? So many questions. Let's eat first. I'm hungry. When you time travel, you cannot travel within your own lifetime. It is very, very important that you don't do that. It is rule number one of FPD. Rule number one? But why? What happens if you travel here? The Future Planning Division, or FPD, was set up in 1959. At the start of Singapore's nation building, government scientists secretly developed a time travel ink. The first FPD test pilots who were brave. Test pilot one was Muhammad Ali bin Khairuddin. He thought it would be fun to see himself as a baby. He went back to the day he was born. What happened? Ew! A woman gives birth to fully grown men. Very tragic. He was beaten up by an angry mob and died. Next was Lo Chai Bun, young man, fresh out of university. He also went back to see himself as a baby. He came back five minutes later, and we got a shock of our lives. He was now a middle-aged man in his 40s. 
How? That's when we found out that when you travel to the past within your own lifetime, your physical body replaces itself and you can never time travel again. Your DNA somehow fuses with itself and the ink doesn't work for you anymore. Poor Chai Boon patiently waited for 20 years in order to walk into the FPD office again to explain everything to us. Then how did Amin become your third test pilot? We wanted to test if the same thing happens if you travel to the future. It was decided that we should send a non-human next in case anything went wrong. So you chose Amin? We trained her for one whole year and sent her 10 years to the future to 1971. Where she was stuck forever. Ellen, listen to me. We have learned our lesson the hard way. Whatever is done in your life is done. You can't go back and change things. If I could, I would be the first to go back and save Rani and my parents. But it's impossible. I should go. <sighs> Finally, no more questions. Just one more. Ugh. Did you try to kill Yusuf? We saw you standing there when he got hit by the bus. I was trying to save him, not kill him. And anyway, the bus didn't hit him. What? The bus just rushed past and Yusuf was gone. Then what happened to him? Not sure. We never saw him again. You managed to get it? I can't believe I went to your mother's house to steal this for you. Thanks. Are you sure you really want to do this, Alan? Manu said you could never come back. What if you fail? That's a chance I'm going to take. And how would I know if you failed or succeeded? I don't know. Uh, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Goodbye, Alan. Goodbye, Ronnie. I'm going back to 1997 to our father. No! Oh no. Oh no. What is it, Manu? Ellen took my stamp. Your office got no stationary cupboard. Get another one. Yes. Thanks, Mama. Uh, I need to go and check something. Why are you alone? Where's your daddy? I don't know. Come, let's go. Don't go. Please no. don't go. Stop it. Don't go. Please don't go. Let me go. Ellen, we're going home. Who is my son? Mom, it's me! It's me! It's out! It's me! It's me! Ow! 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 he took Ellen! Tell him to give Ellen back! Where's my son? Where's my son? It's me! It's me, Ellen! My name is Ellen, you're I was born 10 March 1990. My favorite color is dark blue. And my favorite JoJo is a KD of the nose shield. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have a book about my butt. Wait, 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 wait. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. I believe you. Only my idiot son, Alan Yo Bingston, who offered to pull his pants down in public. Alan? No! No! Manu, I knew you would come here to find another stem. But the FPD is no more, finally! The FPD has been destroyed to prevent anyone from time travelling again. Be brave, bro. Don't hide in the past. Learn to live in the present. P.S. I'll leave a surprise for Rani. to believe in time travel. I know what this is all about. You're having an affair with that woman and you're just trying to distract me with this Ellen. You know what? I don't care. Just give me back my Ellen and get out of our lives! It's true, Maggie. I'm not proud of what I did. But I had to do it. Do what? Have an affair. He didn't have an affair. You keep quiet. He 
Remember when we were expecting Alan? We tried so hard for so long, and it was a difficult pregnancy. We weren't even sure if you would make it. What has that got to do with your affair? I knew you wouldn't be able to take it if we lost our son. So I came up with a plan. So I broke the rules. The sacred rules of marriage? I needed to know if Alan would be okay in the future. First, I started a journal. I wrote down everything that happened to Alan. I had to find a way past the time travel loophole. FPD's rule number one. I rented a safe deposit box at a bank. I paid for it in advance for 100 years. Wow, how much did that cost? They had a good promotion. What? Buy one year, get 99 years free, eh? This is complete nonsense! You have two minutes to get to the point of calling the police. Where is my son? Okay, okay. I'm getting to it. The FPD closed down in 1984. After 25 years of nation building, our mission was complete. All FPD influencers had to return their stamps and swear never to time travel again. I, Manu, will never time travel again. I, Sengli, will not time travel again. Then, I broke the rules. I snuck back into the office. I took out my stamp and went far into the future. I knew that if I travelled to 2070, I could read my journal and see what had happened to Alan. I opened the journal to check and to see if Alan was okay. At first, it looked like Alan had pulled through his difficult first year. But then I found something. What do you find? Alan had made it past his first birthday. He was doing so well. But on his seventh birthday... That's today? I written that we went to Hopa Villa. And Alan was run over by that woman's car. What? Your mistress killed Alan? She's not his mistress! Shh. With the time travel loophole, I couldn't time travel today's day to save Alan. So for the past seven years, I waited for today to come so that I could have the chance to save Ellen myself. I had to stop the woman before she got into her car and knock Ellen down. So that's why you were holding her? Telling her not to go? Mom, Dad saved my life. But it cost him your marriage because you kept insisting that he was having an affair with that woman. So I came back in time to help you guys. You guys taught me what true love really is. Wait, so in one version of the timeline, little Alan gets run over by a car. Alan, careful! I lose Alan. <laughs> Alan! Alan! In another timeline, Sing Lee wrestles the woman, and I lose Sing Lee. Alan, we're going home. And today, I lose little Alan because he becomes a big Alan. See, Mom, this is the best case scenario. You have me and you have Dad. What happened to my little boy? What happened to my baby? That's why I brought this. To show you how I've grown up. We had really great times together. The two of us. And now the three of us can spend time together too. Get out of my house! Who gave you the right to decide what was the best for me? Who are you to decide if I get a husband or a son? I had enough of your time travel and meddling. It's my turn to time travel. It's my turn to decide how I want things to turn out. No, Maggie! You can't just time and travel! There are rules! We have to stop her. If anything goes wrong, we lose her forever. To go steady, steady with you. I want to go steady, everything for two. But I'm not ready, ready for you. And oh, it's so scary. How did you know she'd be here? Your mother's a lot smarter than the both of us. 
She wouldn't do anything stupid. This is the place where I proposed to her. It's our special place. Why didn't he time travel anywhere? Because I could not imagine a life without Sing Lee. All without you. When I was looking at my scrapbooks, I was smiling in a lot of the photos. And I know that I could never be happy without your father. All without you. Back then in 1965, he didn't just save my life. He has become my whole life. I can never live without Sing Lee. All without you. So this is it? We're all gonna stay here? You're right. This is the best scenario for us all. And I want to make sure that things stay that way. Everything is going to be okay, Mom. Let's go. Can I have money to buy a tree? What? Oh, big and strong tree. Everything's gonna be okay now. Manu, what's wrong? I lost my job at the FPD. I think I have to start working here from now. Working here? You are joking, right? You've been working here for 15 years. You're my head barber. You are so funny, you know. That's what Rani always say. She married you for your sense of humour. Rani? Hello, dear. You're here? Of course I'm here. I just dropped the kids off at school. Kids? My kids? Joker, right? He forgot he got two mini Manus. <laughs> Manu, what's wrong with you? But that day I was supposed to meet you at the zoo. That accident. You were you were hurt. No, I wasn't. You can't remember. Luckily there was a tree in the way. Otherwise I would have been rolled over by the car. P.S. I'll leave a surprise for Rani. Ellen! Ellen must have planted the tree. Thank you very much, Ellen. Wherever you are, everything is okay now. Hey guys. Hi, Sophia. Sorry, I'm late. Guess what? Mm. He just missed another time traveler. He said he heard about TTS from you. He kept going on about how he figured out a way to change the unchangeable. Mm. Sounded crazy. Mm -hmm. Ato! You are not allowed to cross the road again, please. Yeah, yeah, I found you. I just arrived here today. How? Sometimes you really cannot change the unchangeable. I just have to accept I'm gonna lose my Ato and never see him again. Atok! You found a way to change the unchangeable. I couldn't bear to lose you. And I couldn't bear to never see your Ibu and Nene again. Hmm? Let's go home, Ato. Where are the kids? Sleeping? Yeah. Mum, are you feeling all right? I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling. <clears throat> Who's your friend? Uh, this is Ellen. You're smart and beautiful. I think you're pretty special, Ronnie. 
You are irritating. And you too. And you too. Bro! Mom, should I call an ambulance? No. No, I'm not sick, Carrie. I'm just waiting for him to come back. Who? Dad? Not your dad. I don't want to see Lawrence. Lawrence? He's in Hawaii with this new wife. Isn't Lawrence your dad? No. He's my father, but that is... Ronnie? Ronnie? Hey, Gary. Hey, I want to go steady. Everything for two. It's good to be home. Just be and